Hi, my name is Keith. Today I will show you how to add a Google sitemap into your WordPress blog. First, you should have a WordPress plugin installed XML sitemap. Go to settings and click on XML sitemap. And you should see build the sitemap now. Click on that and start building your sitemap for the first time. Okay, now you have your summit built easily with this plugin. The next, you need click this webmaster tool from of the Google. Open a new window. Here, you should use your existing Google account if you do not have one. Create that one and uh, log in with your Gmail. And put a password okay this is the dashboard of the webmaster tools to add the sitemap first you need to enter your blog URL and click add site and you will see you ask to verify a site to verify your site click on that to verify there's a two methods first we use the meta tag method what you need to do is you need to add this meta tag string into your header from head to head HTML code here so what you need you just highlight copy this code and go back to the WordPress blog click on design and then team editor okay to do this search for the word call header.php and you should see the meta tag is there click on the header.php and look for the head section head to head and uh, let's go back and check where should we put this okay it should be above the title meta tag and uh, let's see where is the title yeah it's here so I just click here and um, put it down and paste and paste is control V and that's it this is how you verify your blog and click updates and remember whenever you each time change the theme of this blog you need to do this at this meta text string to verify the blog okay update successfully now let's go back to this webmaster tool page so now we click verify and it should be verified from the Google immediately if you done it correctly okay yep that's it it said verify the site then the, the, the final step is going to do is to add the sitemap that's what our whole purpose here click on the sitemap And click on add sitemap you do not have any yet okay from the drop down menu there's a few type of sitemap click on the first one your general method and the first step you said you should have a sitemap install built successfully which is already done and what is the file name of the sitemap then we go back to the our Google sitemap page in the WordPress and uh, let's scroll all the way down and you see this the word sitemap copy this and paste it here very at the sitemap yes when you see this message which means you have done it correctly successfully